That's what I'm doing. You guessed it. Shooting bots. Not on purpose. I jumped in here. Oh, where am I? Jumped in here at the northwest corner of Zombiatin and didn't realize there were bots here. So I quickly switched out my armor and went, alright, kill some bats. And of course, I just globed up for 87 head. You missed it because I didn't press Ooh, record. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Raven. I appreciate it. So. Oh, you're videoing. Sorry. Oh, it's fine. And so, anyway, yeah. I did get a little bit of assault and assault. Something I wanted to do today was go venturing into the lootable PvP area in Artropia. Problem is, I had some stuff with me that I really didn't want anyone to take, and so I needed to get to a storage to drop that stuff off, and that's how I ended up here, and went, oh god, bots, switch armor, okay, cool. So once I get over to the TP or the storage or whatever's here, um, and dump my stuff, then I'm gonna put my other armor back on, which will be my disco. Yeah, into a lootable PvP area, because you know they won't see me coming. No, there hopefully there's nobody there. Because all I really want to do is get a few nuclear launch codes, nuclear blast launch codes. Because I need them for crafting. And I think that that's the only place to get them. Is from those um contaminated soldiers. <clears throat> and I don't even know, I killed one and I didn't loot any and then now I'm gonna see what else I can get. I did loot a chip off the bots if you're interested. I know that Vixens drop chips, but this one I picked up the Electric Tech Nano Chip Full TT and picked it up off these bots. I'm wearing Hermes. I should probably show you that. It is good for, for bots and PvP. Actually, well, I could wear this, but it wouldn't be good against those soldiers. So, with my 6A plates, which have penetration and burn, um, then these are my Hermes stats. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm not real talky tonight. I don't really I don't really know what to say about that. Oh, I don't need this. I need uh, storage. <clears throat> I just thought, well, I globaled. That's awesome. So maybe I better just pay attention and maybe record and see what happens. And then I'm like, well, since I'm going to the PvP, might as well bring you along. It'll be like a a field trip at school. <laughs> It'll, everyone pack your lunches. Got a buddy? Who's your buddy? Hold hands when we cross the street. Yeah, actually, this is the stuff I wanted to get rid of. Yep. So, I was going to buff up. I don't even know what I'm taking. I'm just taking pills. I do this in real life, too. What? You got something? Sure, I'll take it. <laughs> I don't... I don't really. My god, I'm a mom. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna do that. <sighs> Some people's children. So anyway, I'm gonna put that there. Make sure I don't have any other unusual lootable stuff. I can ditch this stuff, actually. Because I'm not gonna be needing it. Mm, what else? That can go. 
Mm, guns, well, a girl can never have too many guns. In my humble opinion. So, let's switch out the armor. Let's see how far we get if we just click a button that I had programmed once upon a time. Oh, look at that. Everything but the shoes. <laughs> mm, it reminds me of Cruel Shoes, which was a Steve Martin shtick. Actually, I think it was a book that he reminisced about having to wear cruel shoes because they didn't fit him right or something. I don't remember. And my husband has the book. He was one of those Steve Martin diehards who had the arrow he wore on his head when he was a kid. Yep, that was him. So let's go adventuring. Oh, my disco harness is gonna break pretty soon. Now, the thing I hate about this is, I'm not here to kill people. Hopefully people aren't gonna kill me, but still I cannot see where the mobs are. <laughs> so I have to wander around and try to find them. It's awful. I know I ran into one towards the TP earlier. So I guess I'm gonna head back that way and see what I can find. I don't even know where the TP is. I'm kinda headed towards it. Oh, there's people. I mean, people to kill, not people to shoot. I mean, not people to shoot, but I mean, yeah, that. Mobs. <clears throat> Maybe I should show you what I'm uh, killing here. <clears throat> it is a possessed Capitan, apparently. And, well, hello. Uh, there's the stats. Their health level is frail. Nuclear blast facility. They're supposed to protect it, but instead they got infected or exposed. And now they wander and haunt the nuclear launch facility. And that's probably what happened to Rectropia. That's probably what happened to Zomhattan. They nuked them all. So sad. And maybe I'll just zoom in so we can see what we're doing. And hopefully the sound isn't too loud this time. My last video, it was too loud. So then I... Yeah, I'll turn it down. Later. So I turned my speakers down on my recording software, but I don't really test before I <laughs> record. I just do whatever the hell I want. So if you can't hear me, make something up. Add your own dialogue right here. And I'm not liking the fact that, I mean, well, in a way I'm liking the fact that winter's almost here because that means I get to spend more time with you, but at the same, on the, on the other side of that coin, I'm really not ready for it because I'm going to have to haul like 30, 40 gallons of water a day out to my horses to drink because I don't have water out there which means I have to fill it in my mud room in buckets and then carry it out and dump it in there, shit. Oh, God. I'm not looking forward to that. It'll be good exercise. Oh, and then curling season's almost here. That starts November. So then I'll be curling, well, for sure one night a week, but maybe two nights a week. That's what I did last year. I curled two nights a week. And it was real fun. Like, we had a blast. I highly recommend it. If you're looking for some kind of winter activity, but you don't actually want to be outside, curling is fun. Oh, look at that. Ooh, oh. My Isis reached 2.0. Yay. Um, so yeah, anyway, we curl, 
and then, of course, my horsey deal, and then spending time with you and Entropia, and that'll pretty much be my winter. Believe it or not. That and making food for my kid. Jeez. He goes, well, both my kids are in college, but my son was like, Mom, can you, like, make me food? And I was like, I guess so. Can't you make food? I mean, you rent a house. You have a kitchen. Apparently, I'm a home cook. <laughs> so, and then he was like, well, my roommate's mom made some food and, like, froze it, wrapped it up, whatever, and sent it along. But your lasagna is better than hers, so maybe you could make me some lasagna. Yes, of course I can. So I've made, I made lasagna, I made stromboli, I made um, slider meat, like, um, I don't remember if it's, oh, bark, but it's like pork, pulled pork. What else did I do? I did, um, well, I did like a turkey wild rice soup tonight that I'll box them up some of that. And I don't, basically my freezer is running out of room because the kid hasn't come home to collect his food yet. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, if you don't show up, we're going to eat it. And if we eat it, there won't be any for you. Because that is actually, that's like the biggest adjustment for me is that I'm now, instead of cooking for four, I'm cooking for two. So I'm cooking too much, and then I have to partition the rest out, freeze it, send it to the kid, because we're not going to eat it. Jesus. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that's what's new and exciting in my world. That, and I want some nuclear launch codes, but maybe I'm going about this the wrong way, because I don't see any yet, and I thought this was how I used to get them. I wonder if either A, they don't drop anymore, or B, do I have to mine here? I don't remember. It's been so long. I'm so out of touch with Rocktropia. I used to know everything about Rocktropia, and now I feel like I know nothing. Everything has changed. Well, I'm still getting hard rock here, though, so that's kind of nice. think we just need nuclear blast launch codes. Where do we get them from? There they are. Ah, I'm getting them now. Yay. I'm way out in the open, so I hope there's nobody here. Because <laughs> I really don't want to get PvP'd. And just so you know, FYI, when I post this video, I'm not coming back here anytime soon. <laughs> You're not going to catch me out here all the time. I'll tell you that. This is a one-time deal to get some stuff for crafting, and then I'm not going to visit again. And if I do, I certainly wouldn't give away when I'll be here. <clears throat> Anyway, Rocktropia. oh, and Rocktropia Records. Oh, this they drop a whole assortment of stuff on here. This is kind of crazy because I started my uh, hunt with nothing in my inventory. Um, so, yeah, what do we got? Mm, they're not even worth a ton, but they are needed for crafting. I can't even remember which blueprints I need them for. I think weapons. I think, er, yeah, no, wait. Was it weapons? I think so. I thought. Or maybe a potion. Maybe that's what I needed. I don't remember. I know I was looking this morning before I started work trying to figure out what I was going to craft today, like AFK craft, and I needed a bunch of stuff that I didn't have. I was kind of miffed about that. So that's why I'm out here. Hmm, 
dark blue. They're dropping a lot of dark blue paint. And that's good because I think the dark blue I think has a pretty good markup. Mm, no, never mind. 106 on the year. Oh, I see. It used to be like 150. That's what I was thinking. And then the pink, of course, isn't worth, I doubt, very much. Oh, 123. Okay, I was wrong. Olive. Everybody loves the Arl Olive because they think this is a military game and they want to paint their vehicles like the army. That's nice. I'll sell my olive paint. I don't have a problem with that. My favorite color is purple anyway. Remember that when you shower me with gifts. I prefer purple. <laughs> I don't know if it's the best color for my complexion, but it is my most favorite color anyway. I think because of Batman. I was reliving that the other night. The first time I remember, well, let's see, I don't remember how old I was, but um, the original Batman series from the 60s, starring Adam West, the pilot for that was like a hour and a half or two hour movie where they found the penguin's lair and then they had to get in there to, I forget, save somebody. Oh yeah, all the leaders of the world that got turned into color of the rainbow powder. <laughs> That's right. Oh, they were turned into pixie stick powder. Um, so anyway, I just, my favorite part of that pilot, sorry, lip, lip stuff, um, was when Robin's flying the helicopter and they are in the bay over this buoy and apparently that's the entrance to the penguins lair because there was like a ladder or something but the fun part is that Robin dipped down a little with the helicopter and Batman was on um, one of those uh, rollout ladders so he's hanging from the helicopter on this on this little circus ladder and Robin dips the copter a little and it puts Batman in the water and when Robin goes, oh sorry Batman, and pulls up and gets him out of the water he has a stuffed shark or a rubber shark hanging from his leg <laughs> it's just, it's hanging there and he's like trying to kick it off, won't come off so he's like, Robin, and Robin hollers down, yeah Batman you know, cause he can hear over the chopper noise and Batman's like, toss me down the Batman shark repellent, please. <laughs> so Robin tosses down this can of aerosol shark repellent, and it shows Batman just spraying it on his leg, and this shark just falls off. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think that's when I knew I loved the color purple. I was probably... I, I couldn't have been that old. I really couldn't have. I mean... The series was before my time, barely, but they showed it repeats and stuff. I mean, I remember watching it at my grandma's house when I was a kid. Love that show. I still love that show. Actually, bought the cassette when I was in high school of the soundtrack of that show, and there's a song called Holy Hole in the Donut, Batman. <laughs> And I just remember Robin saying that. Holy hole in the donut, Batman. Anyway, I'm rambling. And I'm not getting anything good. But I did want to show you that if you are in search of some assorted loot, you might want to take a chance coming up here, because it might pay off for you. Um, hopefully you wouldn't get PvP'd. I don't think a lot of Rectropians even bother trying to PvP someone up here, because it takes so long to get anything worth PvPing. Um, maybe if you were mining, because I know that uh, this is a good area to mine if you are so inclined and like to take risks and stuff like right now let's let's give it a whirl maybe I'll get lucky with my baby finder no that's because 
And I mean, it is cool because you can TP out here, um, or I guess jump. You're not TPing, you're using a TP chip, so you're jumping. But it is um, kind of a neat area, and there are some mining resources to be had if you wanted to come out here and maybe not risk, you know, going straight to hell like yours truly. I don't mine in hell, I don't have the skill for it. I'm not a high enough level yet. I'm working on it. Nothing again, those bastards. Well anyway, I'm gonna TP out of here. So have a great night, have fun, you know, all that jazz. Look how nice I look. It looks so fun when I'm TPing, when I'm jumping away. Look how fun I look. Okay. I'm getting out of here. Bye.